Hello everyone and welcome to this watercolor tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to paint leaves on branches. It's a very easy exercise with a really cool result. So let's begin! You are going to need the following supplies to be able to follow along. Starting with watercolor paper, two watercolor round brushes, size 1 and 10. And you're going to need watercolor paint and for this exercise I mainly use the greens and browns. You're going to need clean water in two separate jars. And of course you're going to need some old rags or paper towels uh, for cleaning your brush. And then, uh, optional, uh, you can use some uh, masking tape or washi tape to fixate your paper to the surface. The steps to make this painting are very easy. Step 1. You paint thin lines with light brown paint with a round brush size 1. And then you let it dry. When it's dry, you can go to step 2. In step 2, you're going to paint circles with green paint with a round brush as 8 or 10. You can make the circles bigger on the top and smaller when you're moving down. And then, when you're finished, let it dry. When it's dry, you can start with step 3, which basically is repeating step 2. Only this time you can choose to uh, pick a lighter green or perhaps uh, another color green um, to give it a more uh, interesting look. Again, let it dry and then you can go to step 4, uh, where with dark brown we're going to uh, paint over uh, the branches and add some stripes where the leaves should be touching the branches. So now that you know what we're going to do, let's begin. I start out with fixating my paper to the surface. You don't have to do this, uh, but this is what I prefer myself so that I'm sure that the paper doesn't move when I'm painting. All right, let's start by painting the thin layers um, that's supposed to be the branches. So we're using the light brown and the round brush size one. And with like really smooth motion, really delicate, barely touching the paper, I am painting those thin lines. And um, I'm really making the layers so, so thin that at some point I don't have any paint on my paper. Um, so I go back in there and uh, paint some more uh, all over it. So it's a very playful uh, part. You don't really need to think about it. Um, I also don't have any examples. You just start out with the main branches and attach the smaller ones to those. You can really play around here and see what looks uh, good for you. And also, as I said before, if you paint it too thin, no worries, just go back in there with some paint. And also don't worry if your uh, branches are too thick or you made uh, an error because, well, <laughs> branches are never perfect, they're all wiggly and wobbly. So those tiny errors can actually make it look really cool. Now, when the paint has dried, we can go to step two. Um, with the green paint, we are going to paint circles all around those branches, starting with bigger circles on top and smaller uh, circles when we're moving down. Um, because that's the same with, with tree leaves. Um, the, the end of the branches are always where the, the newest, youngest, uh, leaves are growing. Also, um, it doesn't have to be perfect circles. We're aiming to paint leaves. Um, it's really cool. Uh, it gives it character if um, 
the circles all are not really circles but have like bumpy edges and some can even be flat. That is why this exercise is so easy. You can't go wrong. It's just playing around, having fun and even if you're like, oh no, I want a few uh, larger uh, circles at the bottom, everything is alright, everything goes. Just have fun and make it very playful. You can also see that in some circles I drop in some extra paint. Uh, that's also something that I like to play around with. Have some darker circles and some lighter circles. Um, you can also achieve this by just loading up your brush with a paint and then paint a few circles and the last circles that you're painting you've got mm, you've got less paint on your brush because you're already painted a lot of circles so those are already lighter and it's really fun if you do that then you don't have to um, deliberately clean your brush you can just um, finish off all the paint you have on your brush and also move around uh, the paper so um, that you don't have all the dark circles in one place and all the uh, light circles in one place. You want to have that all um, you know, like mixed up uh, over the entire paper. If you want to, you don't have to wait until step three to pick another color green if you like to. So you can already paint some circles with another uh, color um, and drop in some other paint colors inside the still wet circles. Um, this just really has a, a very cool effect and makes it more natural because when you look at a tree you, you will see if you really look very closely that not one leaf is having is, is totally the same uh, they don't all have the same color is what I'm trying to say um, they all have got some other shades and it's also you know with the lighting when the sun is shining and their shades and um, some leaves are older some are younger um, so if you want to have it look really natural it's fun to play around with different colors and when you do this while the paint is still wet the colors will really blend really beautifully
All right, so now we're finished with painting all the leaves and it's time to let it dry. Now that the paint has dried, it's time to add uh, the second layer of leaves. So actually we're going to repeat step two, only this time we are going to paint some leaves in between uh, the, uh, the circles we already painted or covering the circles so that you can have a really cool layer effect. As you may notice, I am painting with a darker brown right now. I love to paint with a darker brown, especially on the top, to give it uh, another dimension, give it some depth. Uh, and the darker green is working as shades uh, in the leaves. I am painting leaves in between the circles and also um, layering, covering on top of your existing leaves. And because uh, the layer underneath has dried, uh, the colors won't blend in, but dry up and uh, they will also get these harsh, sharp, lined edges. So that when uh, this layer that we're painting uh, right now, when this is uh, has dried, um, you can really see that they are all separate leaves. I like to put some really small leaves um, on all the ends of the branches because I personally really like that effect. It's up to you if you uh, follow along uh, exactly what I'm doing or that you're playing around and creating the leaves the way that you really like it.
So now we've painted the second layer of leaves and it's time to let it dry. So now that the paint has dried, we are going to start with the last step. For this, I am using dark brown paint and the smaller brush, the round brush size one. And I am covering those branch lines that we painted in step one. Um, I don't paint um, uh, the, on the entire branch, I only paint on some parts that are still showing where there are no leaves covering the branches. And a second thing that I'm doing right now is adding some small stripes directing towards a circle so it creates the effect of leaves attached to the branch.
I like to um, make the branches a bit darker. So for this, I am mixing some dark brown and some green, which uh, making the color even darker. And I am going to drop in some of this dark paint into the still wet uh, brown branches that I've painted before. I'm not doing this everywhere, which is really playful um, for really cool effect. So now we're really finished and it's time to let it dry. No need for another layer. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial and I really hope that you're also very happy with your result. I must say that I really love to see what you've created. So if you want to, please share your, uh, your art piece with me. You can do it privately via DM or I also love it if you share it on social media like Instagram or Facebook and then please Tag me at Sandra Art Studio and use hashtag create with Sandras. I am looking forward to see what you've created. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, then please follow me. So for now, thank you very much and see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.